please subscribe. Hello everyone, welcome back again for another week of drawing. This week we are going to be doing another sort of pattern design, but it's not going to involve clouds, it's not going to involve umbrellas, it's not going to involve any leaves or anything like that we've done in the past. This week we're going to draw a whole bunch of fish. A whole bunch of fish is called what? That's right, a school of fish. So we're going to draw like a school of fish. Whatever fish you want to draw is okay. I'm going to show you a couple of different fish you could draw. And then we're going to create a school of fish out of those. And we're going to have all different sorts of colours in those fish. And make a really cool pattern out of school, a school of fish. What do you need to do this activity? Again, not a lot. Something to draw on, some sort of paper. Something to draw with, like a pencil or a marker and then something to colour in with whether you've got coloured pencils, textures or markers or crayons or pastels whatever you want to use to colour in with is okay by me having said that girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen let's get creative okay hello everyone we're ready with our paper whatever it is, it can be whatever size you like it could be a small notepad, it could be a big huge piece of paper if you like. I'm just using printer sized paper. I'm going to go with a sharpie straight up today. If you wish you can obviously use a grey lead like we've discussed in the past. You can use a grey lead pencil first if you want. But I'm going to go with a sharpie to start. Now the first thing I'm going to do is show you a couple of different types of fish that you can draw to create your school of fish. Now what I want to do in the end is to draw one type of fish but a whole bunch of them covering the paper and um, colour them in to make it look really cool like a big school of fish to create some kind of pattern of fish or school of fish. First I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to draw some fish and then you can decide on the type of fish that you would like to draw. Okay, so first of all we'll just have a bit of a play around with different ways to draw a couple of different kinds of fish. Now, there's some really simple ones you can draw. Let's start off with this one. And this fish here is pretty simple. All you do is go like that, and then go like that. And that sort of looks like a fish, and then all you do is do a gill line there, and then draw a little eye. Simple as that. That could be a fish. Now you can play around with that if you like. You could always add a mouth to that if you wanted to and a tail. You can do things like that and then you could add some other little extra features if you like. You could even put fins and things on that if you wanted to. But the real simple way was just to draw that curve there and that curve there and then the gill line and an eye, and that could draw make a fish for you. Um, like I said, if you wanted to, you could add extra things like fins on the sides like this, um, some down the bottom here, at the top, and then maybe another one here. You could even do some jaggedy looking things like that if you wanted to. So that's one way to draw a fish, and a couple of different options on the same thing. Here's another one. So next one is a clownfish and what you do with this one is you sort of just start off with a shape something like this and then go around like that pretty simple almost I don't know if you've seen goldfish crackers something like that and then what you do there is add some eyes now you can have an eye here like that and then the other one can sit on the top and look like that and then you draw a little mouth down here and then we need to add some fins so there'll be one here another one there, smaller one another one here and then also the fin that would be here somewhere so what you do with the clownfish is separate it into the orange and white 
colours. So what we do is we just draw some lines like that and inside there would be white, inside here would be orange. Then I draw another set of two lines here like that and another one here like that and so you'd have orange, white, orange, white and then orange again in the head part. And the fins you can do whatever you like. You can have some little things like this if you like. Little marks like that and then even in the tail you can have some things like that. That's our little clownfish. So that's another type of fish you could draw and you can obviously as I said colour that in. Same with this one, you add some colour to it to make it look nice. Uh, orange, white inside there, orange inside here, white inside there and orange in there again. Next, another kind of fish and I'm not sure what fish I'm going to draw yet for my whole page. Um, I'm going to start again obviously, I'm just showing you a couple of different kinds of fish. This is another one. Um, I've been drawing this one for a long time. Uh, it goes something like this. Sort of like a bit of an angel type fish. Something like that. And then have a big curvy sort of tail like it's a moon almost. And then a big eye here. A curve there for the gill. A little mouth. And then a fin on the side like that. And I do some curves in here for the that fin, the tail, and then what I would do with this one is draw some lines down through here and I would actually put some colour inside those lines there. Um, and you obviously can add a few more if you want to, but um, I would put some sort of colour inside these stripes so if you're going to do black for example, you colour that in black and then that in black there and then have some sort of other colour in all the rest of the parts. Now another kind of fish. This one here. Okay, so we start off with a sort of like a teardrop shape almost. So we're going to go like this, like that. Okay, I've got a little bit close to him so I might have to overlap a bit. Um, up this end is where the mouth is and we're just going to do some big lips, like a big huge lips on a fish here. That's a funny looking mouth, big huge lips and then big eye, really big eye there. Now you can always go around that again too if you want, something like that. This is a funny looking fish this one. And then the fin's going to come off the back like this and go back around and another one down here like that and you've got the what's called the pectoral fin that's going to go there like that something like that and a tail now my tail because I've gone a bit close to this guy what I'm going to do is overlap I'm going to put my tail going behind the clownfish so it'll sort of just go something like this and then have some lines in it like that like we did with the other ones and that's another kind of fish you can do um, he's going to have a bit of a gill line going up through there like that and then a stripe coming down in there like that and that's a weird looking fish but also a cool looking fish it's got big huge lips on him something like that anyway that's four different ways you can draw fish um, from very simple to a little bit more complicated and then obviously you add colors as you please so I'm going to stop the video there and restart the video and start doing my school of fish design let's get ready okay I've got my new piece of paper here and I'm going to make a decision on what kind of fish I'm going to do as I showed you before there's a couple of different fish to do that you can draw the aim of this is to draw all of the same fish all over the paper so we've got a school of fish all of the same type of fish um, you could if you wanted to put a couple of different fish in amongst your school of fish if you wanted to but I'm just going to go with one kind of fish today and the fish that I'm going to go with 
I think is going to be the clownfish. I'm going to do a school of clownfish. Not that you actually would see schools of clownfish because they usually like to hang out in um, in pairs or by themselves. So I'm still going to choose him though. Um, like I said, you can choose any one of these, but I'm going to go with the clownfish. So let's do that. I'm going to start drawing as many clownfish as I can on my page. And as I said, I started off with a tail first and then had this sort of shape going on. Now, I think I'll draw those all over the paper first and then I'll come back in and I'll add all the features to them. Just so I, I know how many I've got to do here. They sort of look like drumsticks on a chicken leg. So this sort of thing and we're going to draw them all over the place. Okay, so I'm just going to draw as many of those as I can. Now I can draw them of different sizes too, so that some look further away or actually the fish is smaller. So I can draw some smaller ones, like this. Um, and I, if I wanted to, I could even draw a bigger one, so make it look like it's nice and close to the camera. Um, don't worry if the shape's a little bit different. You can see that one's a little bit different. It's a little bit, had a lot to eat for breakfast. So, as I said, just keep drawing as many as you can get on your paper. And then we will go ahead and add all of the features onto these fish. Now, you could even have some overlapping if you want. When we talk about overlapping, we could have one coming from back here where I don't see the tail of the fish and I only see the head part of the fish. Um, so it's hidden behind this guy. You can do that sort of thing too. So it's up to you how you do your design. I'm going to do a few more here though. And try and mix up the sizes a little bit. I'm going to do a couple of smaller ones in back here. And like I said, don't worry too much if the shapes aren't exactly the same. It's okay. Okay, just draw as many as you can. Now remember, we need to add all of the features onto these guys now. And um, that's going to take a little bit of time. So I might draw one here that's actually just the tail part coming here, so some of them are cut off on the edge of the paper. So try and practice a little bit of that where you've got some overlapping going on. This one could be the fish's tail just sort of hidden back there a little bit, just a little bit behind that one. Um, and then I could have some where it's just the head of the fish here showing here. And this one, actually, I could do a whole fish in there, something like that. And another one up here. See, so they're all a little bit different in shape, but it's going to be okay. Not a problem. Okay, this one's sort of going off in, off the edge of the page. So do as many of those as you can. Like I said, some going off the edge of the page. Uh, some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Uh, this one here I could have sort of going off the bottom of the page a little bit like that uh, and I could add a few more but now what I'm going to start to do is adding the features on these fish now as I said with the clownfish I'm going to do an eye that is here like that with a pupil a little dot and then another eyeball sitting on top a little mouth and then I'm going to do some fins one fin here another fin there another one over here and another one up top here like that and then I do my lines where I add the white inside so remember orange white orange white orange that sort of thing and if I wanted to I can add a few little lines in the fins and things now what I'm going to do at this point girls and boys I'm going to speed the video up so you're not having to sit there and watch me forever filling in all of the details on these fish. When I'm finished that, I'm then going to add some colour to my school of fish. 
and um, I hope you really enjoy doing this activity. It's a pretty fun one. I love fish. I've actually got three fish tanks at home. I love fish that much. And um, I hope you really enjoy doing this one with a bunch of fish or a school of fish. I will see you again next week. Bye for now. Flint <laughs>